This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. This is the Hook Horror. There's a monster in my podcast. Yep. Yep. I'm a big fan of the Hook Horror. This is classic D&D, my friend. It is. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's in that whole like subgroup of things that uh, can't, whose lives are nightmares because they don't have fingers. <laughs> You know, like I, I can't do anything. <laughs> it doesn't even get the, it doesn't even get the benefits of having hooks for hands. Like he can't tell the story. You can't yeah. hang from the ceiling because he's too heavy. I mean, yeah. it's the same, but still, <laughs> he can he can just like does like kind of crude manipulations, right, right, and and can bite. He that, can't, that's him. That's our buddy. He can't see. He mostly lives in darkness. He chirps and can echolocate, but that's just about it. Well, the chirps are his exoskeleton around his neck. Yep. Making the way so that's pretty cool. Well, it's like the way a rattle a rattlesnake's tail works. Cool. If if you were presented like let's say you, you got to start over, <laughs> and you were presented with the option of exo or endoskeleton, which one would you choose? Um, do I have the knowledge of what it's like to have an endoskeleton? Um, yes. Like you know okay. what both of them are. I know what both of them are. Yeah. But I know what an endoskeleton feels like. I kind of like having skin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's he's got this guy's got looks like he's got some skin. And he's got like he's got like interplate folds. Um, yeah, he's doing okay. He's doing okay, and he's got those he's got those spikes. Uh, you know, I, I think I'd stick with endoskeleton, but I'm not an adventurous man. Like, yeah. How, how about you? Um, no, I, I would I would definitely choose to have my skeleton inside my body. I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the exoskeleton. Uh, I don't know. I think it'd be terrifying. It would be hard to make love. Well, it seems it seems very high maintenance, and also the thing they don't tell you in the in this right here, you have to assume he molts. Right. Oh yeah. I I prefer yeah. molting a little bit of uh, a little bit at a time and having my vacuum cleaner pick it up. I don't want to like climb out of myself like I'm a sleeping bag. No, no. And then you just like, what do you do with it? Yeah, it's definitely me. And then the idea of you having your bones on the outside and you're just like, once a night you like dip a loofah in milk and just rub it on your your exoskeleton to kind of keep it good. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't notice this guy's like weird little uh, on his butt, his little like sit down rockers. You can sit down and rock back and forth. <laughs> He's got those little uh, uh, like Oscar Pistorius, like carbon fiber blades sticking out his butt. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, like, and, he can sled like those fast old sleds. They're dangerous. <laughs> a t- Timmy Toboggan, the hook horror. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that like that's a, that guy gets uh, knocked on his ass. He can bounce right back up. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a real chumba wumba. It's um, they don't uh, they don't know gratitude. There's like a very specific <laughs> section of that. It's they like don't. they're smart, but if you if you save their life, it's foolish to think that they're gonna <laughs> care. I mean, that's that, that, that's that, that's a little bit like the wording on the action figure that says, like, hey, don't melt this down and drink it. Like somebody <laughs> tried that in a campaign <laughs> and like tried to like try tried to get a life debt from a hook horror. <laughs> Somebody wrote into Dragon Magazine about it. It's just like, you know, no. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I get a ruling on whether or not this hook horror companion is valid? We just made a monster who it with like belaying pins instead of yeah. you know instead of hands. What more do you want from us? <laughs> <laughs> Although to be fair, no envelope would go unopened. Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv.